Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the word intricate. I worked it out in intricate detail. Intricate is an adjective used to describe something that is complicated, confusing, detailed and complex. Listen to the language. Intricate patterns of clicks, whistles, squeaks and groans. So the word intricate can actually be split into two parts that will help you remember its meaning. The first part is the prefix, which is in. But the second part, which is the most crucial part to remember, is trick. Now you might know that there already is an English word called trick. To trick somebody is to mislead somebody. But then this comes from the Latin word tricke, which means to perplex, to hinder and to trick somebody. So if you think about the Latin word tricke, one of the meanings is to perplex somebody, to make somebody confused. And that's exactly what intricate things do. Intricate things are complex, detailed, and can often make people confused. So for example, if you think about a spider's web, the way the spider weaves across the web, making different patterns and different fine threads crossing over many different others, often can be described as intricate. Just these huge intricate webs they've left behind. Or if you look at an intricate piece of artwork or painting, an artwork that has lots of, lots of detail, lots of different patterns, can often be described as intricate. That stitching is so intricate. And as we use intricate as an adjective, it is used to describe something that, again, is not simple or plain, but is very interesting, very difficult to understand, confusing, and most importantly, complex. Each image is like a thread, each thread woven together to make a tapestry of intricate texture. So when we use intricate as an adjective to describe something, it doesn't mean that it is plain or simple to the opposite of that. It is actually meaning it is very complicated, complex and detailed and can often be described as a masterpiece Another word that is very similar to the word intricate is elaborate. Now, elaborate actually has two meanings. The first meaning is when it is used as an adjective. And this is the meaning that is very similar to intricate. Now, elaborate, again, is used to describe something that is planned and has a lot of detail and is very complex and complicated. Everything I've told you is either an extraordinarily elaborate lie or the very simple truth. So, when something is elaborate, it is very intricate. Now, to remember elaborate as an adjective, meaning complex, detailed and intricate, we can split elaborate into two parts. E, which is the prefix, which could be seen as out, meaning out. And then the second part, which is labor, which is from Latin, which means to work. So if we think about elaborate, you have to work out something. This means that that thing must be very detailed and complex and that you have to take your time to work out what it is. Therefore, that thing is elaborate. Which, as I've discovered, is all part of some elaborate plot to make you think we British are the villains. Now the second meaning for elaborate is its use as a verb. You want me to elaborate? So for example, when you elaborate on a topic, you go beyond just the basic facts and add more depth and complexity to your explanation. To elaborate on something is to provide more knowledge, more extensive detail into that particular topic or the thing you are talking about. I will need you to elaborate on your instructions. So when you elaborate on something, you are explaining to somebody with more information, detail and depth. Do you want to elaborate on why that is? So imagine you are describing an amazing holiday you went on. If you just say the basic facts, for example, I had a great vacation in Italy. That's just a basic statement. However, if you elaborate on that, you are adding more detail. For example, I went on a beautiful trip to Italy. 
I went to Rome, Florence, Sicily, and we saw amazing monuments, for example, the Colosseum and the Trevi Fountain. These details help to elaborate on your story, spending more information, more detail on your topic. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully you didn't find this video too intricate and elaborate. And hopefully you enjoyed me elaborating on the topic of these two words. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and we'll see you guys next time.